Cockadoodle do. Jeff has just woken up to a long day of classes ahead. Luckily, Jeff has a little time to kill before he goes to class. 25 minutes to be exact. Ugh, another hot spring day, and Jeff's hungry too. Looks like he's gotta go get some McDonald's for breakfast, and nothing sounds better than a nice, cool, refreshing caramel frap. Uh-oh, looks like Jeff's girlfriend wants him to come over. She says her parents aren't home. Oh, Jeff, you got a hard decision to make. This is where trade-offs come in. Jeff has to make a decision while thinking about what he will gain versus what he will lose from that decision. So, does Jeff want to go and have the time of his life before class starts, or go hang out with his girlfriend? Looks like Jeff didn't really weigh his options that well. Now for his one caramel frap, he has lost his girlfriend. But let's be real, the frap was so worth it he didn't need Nadia anyway. This is Dave. He is a college senior attending Utah State University. And this is Jerry, who is in his senior year of high school. Jerry wants to drop out and go travel the world. Jerry has put a normal amount of work into high school, but has not spent nearly as much money and time as Dave has on college. In this situation, Dave has the higher opportunity cost as he is giving up more money, time, and effort to go travel the world, while Jerry is giving up little time, normal effort, and no money to go travel the world. Opportunity cost is the risk of what a person will give up or lose by making a certain decision. The more a person gives up, the more of an opportunity cost it will have. Therefore, the less a person gives up, the less of an opportunity cost it will have. Do you make up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah.